Hi, TD here, the girl from A Girl, A Game, and A Goal. Here's the box. What's in the box? Games. So our goal today is to unbox yet again another purchase. I just cannot stop buying. This pandemic has made me a shopaholic and with nobody to play. But I've been trying to get games that I can play with myself or with my stream. And so I have a few things in here that will fit that bill. I think if I remember so this is from Boardlandia which is a company that is in Appleton no Apple something Wisconsin <laughs> don't quote me but quote me but look for them because Boardlandia is online as well they have a YouTube channel they do unboxing there as well to show their merchandise they are a local like friendly local game store so even though yes I'm still buying from like Amazon I also am honoring the local game store not local to me but local to a friend of mine Amy she lives out in Wisconsin she told me about them and I don't really have one over here where I'm in Queens there are some stores I don't know I never found out before the pandemic hit to see if anybody would deliver I know that there's one called the 20 sided die which is over in Williamsburg maybe they may deliver who knows but um you know I'm supporting some small business so I'm happy with that and so let's get right into the bag we got our poppies that everyone do I don't like these because you can't pop them because that's that one channel oh the nails are a wreck I know the face is a wreck I know but the games are not gonna be a wreck that's what we're here for right so um, if you've seen any of my other boxes boxings unboxings you will see that I have bought it's a wonderful world mind you just the other day but as I was shopping in Borlandia because you know I am shopping a lot um, this uh expansion was there wasn't that expensive and it's like a campaign or it has five different campaigns in here um campaign um unlock new cards discover new effects depending on how you play the fate of the five empires will de determine be determined through war and peace war or peace war and peace anyway so this is the first thing that i bought um it's a war it's a wonderful world war and War, or I don't know why I keep saying and war and peace. That's like a book, right? I don't know. All right, that was the first thing. The next thing I bought was this. I have this. This is actually for a friend. Um, his birthday is actually was a couple days ago, but on lockdown because um, he's on quarantine. <laughs> so I don't know how close I'm gonna get. I'll probably drive by like over there and stuff like that I have this game I'm not gonna open this one of course not because it's not my copy but um I had said oh you know he makes fun of me because I like roll and write and polyomino games and I had mentioned this one and he was like oh that was one that he was kind of interested in so you know filed it in the money in the back storage and decided to pick him up that so I have to figure out how to get that to him but let's talk about what I got for my um this game strike the dice game roll match win um, this is just this uh, 15 minute quickie that I can play with the, my, my family. Something silly, something easy to do, something kinetic where we're moving and everything like that. So this is cute. Um, I saw this the first time I think was on game night. Game night? We, maybe game night. It could have been game night. Could have been. T I feel like it's game night though. But anyway, so I got that. Let's put that off to the side. And then I got, oh yes, I know, I fell into the trap, Splenda Marvel. I have Splendor. Everyone always hates on Splendor. I took Splendor to work. All my, co we're math people. All my coworkers are like so into it. They're trying to be the mathiness of it all. Like how many of these chips and how many of these cards and how do I reach the 15 and blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, we really played Splendor a lot over at work, but who goes to work anymore right so we'll remote but this was on sale so I decided to pick it up because I love me some marble and I love me some splendor and um, my daughter actually kind of knows the, the mechanics of splendor she's played with me century spice road and she kind of like did a pretty decent job so this would be a nice little addition to the collection that I have going on I've gotten to the point where I have stopped entering games into BGG um, because I, I, I'm afraid 
to look at the numbers. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so, um, uh, maybe I'll open this one up. Let's see. I don't know. So, um, speaking of, it's a one level world has a possibility of being single player. Like I was saying in some of these, um, videos now that I'm getting stuff that I wanted to get games that were playable, like by, for myself, when I can get a chance to sit down and actually play a game, which I feel like I never have. There's so much going on in my life and I've got like three channels going. I've got a bunch of stuff going. You can find all that information down in the chat. Um, not the chat. What is it called? The description. And so here's the last one, which is a one player game, which is Coffee Roaster. Now this I saw, um, uh, Tom Basil from the Dice Tower play. Um, uh, he live streams, I guess, or I think it was a live stream doing one of their little special events. And he played this, and I was like, oh, okay, this is cute. So this was also on sale. It is a one player, so therefore this would be cool to play. Um, and uh, yeah, so these were my purchases. Well, that is everything this in the box. And I'm like, why do I keep turning around? Like, you really want to see the back of my head. So that's the unboxing, right? And now we can open a few boxes and see what's inside. So let's see. Um, I'm not going to open it to Wonderful World only because um, I think I might have opened the other one. I got to turn around again. I may have, but I haven't played it. So that's going to be the campaign. Um, I don't think I want to go in there and like, see any hidden spoilers. How are the glasses? These are just readers, but you know. I feel like you buy the dollar, the dollar store, they're not dollar store, you buy them, well they could be, they're from Amazon, you buy the sets that come with three or four, and they are set magnification, but then after a while I feel like there's nothing going on, like it seems blurry again, and then I buy the same thing uh, with magnification, and these seem like on the point. Alright, um, should we open up Strike? To take a look I think we'll open up strike and um, I'm gonna put this on the side over here and uh, I just want to see like all the dice all the dice actually you know what I think I did see this play also because I have a feeling like I was watching and it was like Roy Canada and Mike what's his name Delicio were playing with Tom I feel like there might have been a fourth person but I'm not it's it's not coming to me I, that's so bad i gotta stop moving myself out of the screen so it's really silly this is like this was just, i'm like i i don't even have the invoice i don't even know how much i paid for this but i mean literally it's a piece of plastic you know and it has a little um ooh, a little foam insert it's, it's got a little bounce and give to it and then look all these black dice they're so cool right and basically, you're supposed to roll whatever number of dice, and I think you take, um, dices that, dices, dices, dice that match, because dice is already plural, dice that match, and then, um, or you lose your die, whatever the case is. So, um, one of the, let's just hear it, uh, very, very auditory, very, Okay, is that enough? Are we, are we good? Anyway, so <laughs> this is fun. I mean, I wish that I was had the opportunity to play some of these games with my students. I work in high school. I've said them in another video. I'm in Queens. I try and teach math, um, which is the most hated subject in the world. Um, and then, uh, what do you call it? It um, it just doesn't go well. But um, I mean, the kids try. You know, it's just not, they're not, I don't know, the kids are different. This, this, this generations that are coming up, it's, it's different. So the rule book, when I open up, I usually look at the rule book. And so that comes in very, uh, various languages. I do not know what languages, probably French. Is that the French flag? Um, I don't, I don't teach geography. Um, Spain? Is this Spain? Oh, right, you can tell me in the comments if I get them wrong. Spain. And I'm looking at the words to see if it gives me a hint. Um, I don't know. I want to say that this is French, but it, the words don't look French. Is this German, maybe? I don't know. 
Um, this is Italian. Um, this is French? Maybe. Um, mm, no, this is German. <laughs> this is German. Yeah, I, I see the wording. This is German. Okay, I don't know what the other one is. So I'm lost. But the English is on top, and that's the one I'm going to have to look at. Basically, I tell you guys that it's eight years and older, two to five players. So you do have to have an opponent. You really can't play by yourself. Um, oh my god, I'm such a dork. It tells you right here English, Dutch, which, Dutch, 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 German, um, French, Italian, Dutch, and Spanish, Espanol. All right. So, oh my god, I just like have no credibility in anything geographical at this point in time because don't show me a flag, don't show me nothing because I couldn't tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm really bad, sorry. Alright, so that was <laughs> the first game. So, the very lightweight, um, it is kind of like an awkward size. I feel like the narrowness throws me off, like, but I guess you need it because of the oval, you know, I mean, making it a full box, you have a lot of wasted space i guess you know they could have maybe made it a square box and then had like a the deck where you put all the the the, the marbles i was gonna say marbles i did say marbles all the dice that are out of the game in that moment could have been like laid up over here but hey i'm not the designer i'm just a con consumer here anyway that's strike yes i'm not I'm turning around again i'm turning around again it's horrible all right Let's open one more. We'll open up Coffee Roaster because I think I'm going to leave Marble for my daughter and myself to explore. I don't know if she really even cares, honestly. That's just a fallacy in my head. You know? It justifies me buying things. Yeah, she'll play with me. Sure she will. That child is into anime. She's into PS4. They gave her PS4. They, not me, not her parents. Somebody else gave her PS4 a couple years ago. When they came out, is a wrap. It's not even, you know, whatever. So, oh, I like the texture. It's got that linen. Can you do ASMR? Anyway, um, so it is Stronghold Games Dip Games or DLP Games. It is a premium solo game. Ooh. On the side, it says one player, 10 to 30 minutes. I guess 10 if you don't know how to mix your coffees or make a good drink. I don't know. And 12 and up. So you do need some kind of brains going back to my mathy people we would always look at the 10 and up and there was always one who was like ah. he goes oh if it's 10 or up uh, that's it I, I can't play anymore i can't play this game it's too high level for me because you know he was making a joke but still it was you know it was funny all right so let's see we have a uh, a rule book kind of hefty feeling um, and glossy pages. I like that. It's nice. Nice little uh, content box. Why does this feel so dark? And all my lights are on. Anyway, maybe it's not that dark when you're looking at it, but it looks dark to me for some reason. So, we got to see all the components that are here, and they'll describe everything. And there's um, uh, the game setup, which is nice. Tells you exactly what you have to do to place everything out. And then the gameplay. There's a phase one of roasting. Hmm. Uh, phase two of cup testing hmm. and then is that it next game that's it there's two phases it has an appendix so it gives you some more details about the tokens which is good and since it's a um solo game there's a little little chart in here that tells you if your score is 60 or more you are a master roaster and if it's less than 19, you are an apprentice roaster. So it has different levels of your caliber as a roaster. Alright, so this is nice. Very informative. I don't know why I sniffed it. It just, I felt like something wafted up into my noses. My noses. Moses, supposes. Is not, anyway. Let me not even go there. Um, so there's this. I don't know what this is. Um, it's got a little sticker. Oh, I don't want to mess up the cover of this. Please come off easily. Don't you just hate that? Like, things that... I mean, punch boards we know we're going to throw out, whatever. But maybe I need this little envelope and I don't want to blemish. Do you want to blemish on your envelope? I don't think so. Boom! Came off. And watch me not need this damn envelope either. Oh, off screen again. Um, 
I don't know like I think this setup of like I've seen and I used to do videos where everything was straight on and I was holding everything up everything was very far away and then I discovered the setup of the overhead and I think this is good and it's also easier for me to kind of just lift things up versus trying to go you see you see anyway so what's in here so in here oh we got all the cards I don't know what these cards are called because I really didn't look in that deeply I guess you this is the information card see look at the little size of my head um uh, Brazil Cuba they have numbers so maybe they're levels of complexity that's my best guess since I haven't played the game so those cards are going here um this is I guess a score pad right and then we have some cardboard Ooh, and a nice little insert look at this insert so it has um a card that's paper oh there's the thing <laughs> there's more than that here buddy if i wasn't so nosy all right we don't need we could take that out um put this in and this is really really cool i like that and i guess we could use this as a topper so this is a plant called coffee and um it's, i guess it's talking about you know how, how where coffee originated came from we have let's see do we have a place for this yes so these little guys are supposed to go here and then we've got tokens and tokens and tokens and tokens so let's pop out all these orangey ones right so I think that something I, I I don't know I think these are beans and they're the value of one so all the beans are the same side size is just the color is a, a different value I don't know but um yeah I think I did all of this last time I popped everything out and I tried to yammer on so I don't know where this uh channel is going I keep saying there's so much I want to do and there is so much I want to do um, but life has been kicking me in the ass and I think I said that earlier or said that oh family channel no cursing right um, and I just haven't been able to get myself into any kind of a groove and that's really something that I think we need we have to have the things that we enjoy and we have to find the time to do them and since I enjoy the board games I gotta figure out how to do this but i am home remote teaching i am not out there in the world i am not sure about this vaccination thing and uh because you know this is originally filmed in the time of the pandemic and you know summer is coming in, in a few months i'm off the screen it doesn't matter I'm off the screen. um so i don't know like i don't go out i go out for doctor's appointments uh checkups and things of that nature but that's pretty much it so I haven't been rushing to go get the vaccine vaccine sounded like I said Vaseline um, and I don't know what to think of it so what do you guys think I mean I don't know I don't know what that is okay all of these go down here so um, yeah I did I have to check my stats I did put up a video where I was did a playthrough of uh, Cristallo but then I got stuck because Cristallo is such a massive table presence it was like ridiculous and I just I couldn't so this one is the board board so that's separate here they can go out to the trash um, this is also um, already pre punched well not really it just fell out so that's a good punch right and then these black beans black beans sounds like it's uh maybe um time for some tacos no, I'm I'm i know i'm being ridiculous people are gonna be like well let me not subscribe to her she doesn't make any sense but i don't know if i'm here i've had this channel for a while i last time i looked i lost some subscribers i think youtube um i was told that youtube takes subscribers they they like scrub your account every so often for people who haven't um who haven't been like interacting with like anything going on or something i don't know maybe they do some kind of percentage thing but i mean it doesn't seem right because what does it matter like just leave me with my little 200 and whatever it was right why you gotta take five people away from me 
I'm nowhere near what is it that they said a thousand subscribers and what is it like 4,000 minutes watched some crazy number like that but I guess if I had more followers and if I had more content and if I made more sense <laughs> then maybe I would be able to do something fantastic with this channel but right now I just want to make my little videos I want to be in my basement talking to myself looking at the pretty games and letting you see them as well so this is nice I'm gonna put this on there I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna put this and this and then the dilemma is what's the bag for now it's for the gameplay but here's the thing it's nice right but what happens if I go like that let's see let's see what happens did it did it stay I think it stayed <laughs> I don't know I can't tell it could have fell back in in different places and that's exactly what happened so we will be a little bit of an ingenious over here let's take the punches that we don't need any longer and add back that height into the box so that there is more pressure against this plastic because what's the point if it's not gonna hold the stuff in place right because I think most of these things will go into a bag if I'm not mistaken so now I gotta sit here and you gotta sit here well you don't you could have been gone a long time ago uh, you can sit here and see me separate this and complain that um here's the thing and I'll and <laughs> I don't have time to look for it now but I'm just wondering if somewhere in here in the book it tells you by the way why don't you keep those punched out insert thingy majiggies and use them to elevate <laughs> the tray for a better fit because you know what maybe somebody thought about it when they actually designed this and 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 I'm thinking I'm all you know sneaky and, and like brilliant over here and meanwhile it's the logical thing to do so let me shut my face no uh, let me let me let me not pat myself on the back too hard and then um <laughs> but we are gonna test that this theory out in a minute i know i should have just did it when when it was but i couldn't tell then if i if it was messed up or not there's a lot there's a logic to my my madness there's a method to my madness that's the phrase, right? A method to my madness. So here's the thing. I'm looking down here. I said I like this idea so I can say, oh, look how nice the tokens are. And I can give you up close, right? But when I'm messing with things, I'm looking down so you're kind of seeing the top of my head. So I don't know. Is that off-putting? You know, that's, that's, that's the other thing. I'm always worrying about a million things. I wish I had, like, eyes on the top of my head as well because that way... You could feel like I was actually engaging with you. And maybe I should open this up because I feel like I keep getting lost on this. Well, not this side because there's nothing over here to, to, to be messing with. Um, Alright, I think I'm going to just have to like, you know, let you go. It's 23 minutes. I don't want to make this channel where you people are like, This chick is yapping for God knows how many minutes about nothing. Like, hello. So I am going to just sort this out and I'll let you know. Maybe I will try to play this through and record my little playthrough and then I could have like a little bit of a, a review of the component situation. So I think every, well, it looks like everything's in this place. I'm going to say adieu and I'm going to put that on there. There's a nice little amount of tension. Now this is very much to the level so I doubt anything will slip out. And I am going to call it a wrap so listen if I didn't annoy you too much and you want to come back subscribe ring my bell and you can listen to this Queens girl talk some board game stuff and a bunch of other nonsense if that's what you're into then by all means subscribe <laughs> and if you're into other things like crafts or if you want to live stream hey all my stuff is down there so I will see you next time take it easy